Okay, I'm here right now to show you how you can get text printed onto your card or your image panel and have the text be exactly where you want it to be. I've printed out this little bird image that's from squigglefly.com onto a piece of paper instead of cardstock. I just printed it on paper for demonstration purposes. But I've printed this out and now I'm going to print a greeting on here and I want my greeting to come down about here and go across here. So I can do that if I tell my Microsoft Word program what size paper I'm printing on. And I've measured this before I cut it. It's five and a half inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. So I'm going to go up here to File and Page Setup and I'm going to tell this that my paper is that size, five and a half by four and a quarter. Now I have to tell it what the margins are. To find out where I'm going to set the margins, I have to measure my image is there, and I know I don't want my greeting to come down and print on top of the bird. So it looks to me like I could have my greeting come down about an inch and I'm not going to run into this bird and it'll go over this way, which is about how I want it to look. So I'm going to give it a one inch top margin. And now on my left margin, it's still going to come down, a, I want it to come down to be like above his, like where his eye starts. So that's about two and a half inches, two and a half inches over. So I'm going to give my left margin two and a half inches. My right margin, it can go, if it's going to start here, it can go all the way over to the end. I might don't want it, of course, to run off. So I'm going to give it a quarter of an inch on the side. And I don't want to run into the bird, so I'm going to cut off the bottom margin. I'm going to go up one, two, and three quarters. Now I can click OK. and my paper is ready to print. I'm going to pick a font out up here and I'll go to a little bit bigger font size and I want it to say a note of thanks and I can tell from these lines here and over here that I've got a little bit of playroom so I'm going to scoot that over a little bit more We're and I'm ready to print this onto my paper. So I'll put this in the printer. I'll go to File, Print, and it's going to print out, and you'll see that it's exactly where we wanted it to be. And here's my finished printout. The words are exactly where I wanted them to be. Down an inch. Right above his eye. I did move it over a little bit after we had seen it. So now I want to show you if you were going to print on the inside of your card what you would do. So I'll close this. I'll start a new blank document. And I've got a regular A2 size card here. It's got this pig on the front. My card opens up. So my whole piece of cardstock is eight and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going to go to File, Page Setup, and tell it that my paper is eight and a half by four and a quarter. Now my margins, 
are going to be set. And for this card, I've got the front of it. It says, this little piggy went to market. And I don't know really what I'm going to have it say on the inside, but it, I might have it say, and bought way too much roast beef. So I wanted to print that on the inside and bought way too much roast beef in here. So this is my fold line. I know this is four and a quarter and this is four and a quarter. So I'm going to make my left margin at the fold line, which is going to begin here at the fold. And it's going to print across here. And I'm going to set my right margin for zero. Don't worry about that. My top margin, I'm going to have my greeting come down about two and a half inches on the inside of the card right here. So I'll set this two and a half. And I'm not going to worry about my margin because I just am going to say, and he bought too much roast beef. So that's not going to go very far. I can just leave the bottom like it is. And I'll say, okay. And I get this warning. It says, one or more margins are set outside the printable area of the page. Choose the Fix button to increase the appropriate margins. Well, people will see this and they'll get scared of they've messed up and they'll fix it. You don't want to do that because you've put in the measurements that you want. And you just trust that you measured right and you click Ignore. Now you're ready to type. And we're going to give this a font that will say... This little piggy went to market and he bought too much roast beef. And I'm going to increase the size of this because that looks pretty little. And now over here, this is where you're going to click center. And when you click that, it automatically centers your text. You don't have to worry about it. And you can go to File and Print Preview, and you can see this is about what it's. This is your whole card, and this is how it's going to look when it prints out. So we'll print that on. A, I'm going to print this on a piece of copy paper that is four and a half. I mean four and a quarter by eight and a half, and you'll see how that goes. Again, it's telling me, are you sure you want to do this? Don't get scared. Trust your measurements. Yes, I want to do it. And if you didn't measure right, or if you're afraid that you didn't measure right, print it out on some copy paper first and then hold it up to a card and see if it shows up where you want it to. So this is my paper. It's finished printing. And let me put my fold in it so you can see. If this was the front of my card where the pig was, when I open it, there is my greeting. And he bought too much roast beef. Just exactly like I wanted it to be. And you could print this out on a piece of copy paper first and hold it up to your card. And you would see, oh yeah, that's going to work just fine. It's going to be right where I wanted it. So you can do that with anything. You can put the text anywhere you want as long as you tell your program what size paper you've started with first and set the margins of where you want it to be. So I hope that's helped you a lot and There you go. See you there. Bye.